guys hey guys your girl kayla b you know me and i'm coming back to you with another video i guess another video oh yeah anyways um if you're wondering how to get this look that's on my eyes i'm doing a you know future tuesday tutorials with the huda beauty palette but i'm not gonna put it up like next week or the week after because i want to do like valentine's day looks before i go back into huda beauty because it is limited edition so you know i want to do other looks this is the look right here. You can see it matches my shirt, you know, yellow, yellow. Don't mind this or the inner corners, you know. Um, I had this on all day. It's like night right now. So, yeah. If you're wondering what's on my lips, it's the L'Oreal 860 in Spice and the, not Natasha, the Anastasia Beverly Hills Lip Gloss in Sepia. Now let's get into this video. So this is basically my brush collection and basically what I like to do with these brushes. But let's start off with something that's non-brush like. The e.l.f. sponge. This is just a great sponge to put on foundation. Like it's a little dirty right now. But this is just a great sponge. It's plush but it's also firm and it's like this shape not the egg shape. Because I like it so I can have like something to hold on to like when I do it this way or when I do it this way it just gives grooves and I like grooves speaking of foundation to take to um blend out my um Anastasia Beverly Hills thick foundation I use the Ulta Beauty angled foundation brush yes some bristles are you know standing up mostly because I just washed it I had this for like a year this is what it looks like also another one for foundation is this elf foundation brush the selfie ready brush it's like a dome packing like a stapling brush but also a foundation brush together you know what i mean like if they had a baby also this is a asos brush a o a brush a shot mess a brush this is basically something i like to put blush on also foundation if those brushes are you know dirty so i just you know pack it on Disclaimer, some of these brushes, as you can see, are dirty, but let's go on to this Farmer Beauty brush. This is basically a blush brush, but I don't use it for a blush brush. I just use it to pack on powder, like whenever I get oily, just dust it all over the face. Or sometimes I use it to like, like put powder on to like, to take away the mistakes that I made, like for like too much blush. Speaking of blush, I use this Profusion brush. I mean, this brush is like, it's so unique. Like I don't find angle brushes like this where it's wide and like soft at the top like i usually find brushes like this for like angled blush brushes this is by beauty um accents this is the angled blush brush but i use it to sit under the eyes because it's just that perfect shape this is the ulta kabuki brush this is the long handle one. I love it because some kabuki brush have short handles this has a long handle the handle matters plus the um the stuff this is just something that I, it has some sparkles on it, as you can see. Um, this is just something I like to put all over my face, you know, either put on powder all over my face or when I put on blush, like if the other brushes are dirty, <laughs> you see it's in rotation. Some uh, new brushes that I've gotten are not in this, like my brush collection, what I do with my brushes because they're not in rotation yet, but this is in rotation and this is like or sometimes i use it like when i'm on the train and i know i see that i'm getting oily and i use it with my powder my um color pop powder and i just like press it in this is the color pop powder i'm talking about the no filter press powder and deep dark now on to highlighting brushes these highlighting brushes this one right here is the elf fan brush this was my go-to for a year and a half then, oh, excuse me. Then recently I found out about the e.l.f. highlighting um, brush. And this brush right here is so good. It's, like, not too, like, fluffy and, like, loose. But it's, like, the perfect stiffness and the perfect looseness, if you understand what I mean. Now on to eye brushes. This is duo brushes. The first one was my favorite of all time, the Luxie brush. Um, this two-ended, two-ended one. This is in the the style 249. Um, this right here, the Anastasia Beverly Hills of Culture one. This one is the one I use more, mostly because this end is perfect for like detailed packing on shimmers, and this is like a stiff but um soft also stippling brush slash blending brush that you just want to blend out those colors 
This has a longer handle and I really like shorter handles when it comes to duo brushes. This Ivy White Beauty brush, I use to put on concealer or put on the primer on my eyelid. These three brushes right here I use in the crease. This right here is the e.l.f. crease brush. It's just great to get in there and do some detail. But if I want to do more detail work, I use this more 3 2 1 brush. This brush is so good because it has that little angle, that little, that little tip at the top. This right here is a Luxie 141 mini round brush. This is so good for that detail work. This is actually how I got this in the crease right here. And it's just great to like just swipe on the color. Not pack on, not blend it, but swipe on. I'll show you later in a future Tuesday tutorials. Anyways, this is also the ruby brush that I love so much to like blend out that 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 not corner that crease or to put something in the mid like the uh, inner corner of the eye I know I usually don't do that but when I do I use this brush these right here are the last four brushes in my brush cleanser that I'm using at this moment this right here is the elf blending brush this is just great for blending and packing on color colors in the corner not the corner the outer V of the line the outer V of your eye the outer corner and this is just a when wild brush that I like to use to just blend out everything on my eyelid these two brushes are Alamar cosmetics this is good for like eyeliner or lower lashes oh and especially that rupee brush is good for lower lashes and this is just good for detail to put on the shimmer I hope you like this video and I hope you like me showing off my brush collection and what I do with my brushes and I hope you guys have a great day have a great night whenever you're watching this and bye guys